Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. So we are gonna continue. Uh, this is a part two of the previous video. Well, just so it's not too long all at once. Uh, before they, because they couldn't get in the uh, tube next to my nipple at that time, basically. Uh, I hold it. I ended up holding her to my breast and uh, she got her uh, bottle uh, next to the breast. So. And then finally right after this was her first peaceful night in, um, in a week and a half. You know, this was the point when she finally got kind of enough milk plus she felt like she's breastfeeding and she was in my arm and she could fall asleep in my arm and that was something finally and also I could finally cuddle with her after a week and a half yay uh, but uh, at night she didn't uh, she refused uh, the empty breast completely anyways so we like like I when I decided to give her a last try she just completely refused it um, uh, finally, on the next, the next day, so it started to increase it a little bit uh, more. So she's getting an increase of two meals every six hours. So by the evening that day, she was getting 20 meals. In, um, I was giving it to her with the bottle. So four days. So this took her four days to get on the 20 meal. Like the last time at four days, they were already on her full fit. And after the 20 meals, she actually did sit in my lap for like 5 minutes before she started to cry and and, and um, back for more milk at that point. Um, at this point we are doing a lot of uh, burping because we are using bottles, right, uh, only. And uh, she was, the next day she was up at 28 meals. And uh, her weight was at 2168 grams. Um, and uh, she's doing amazing so far. Um, I'm getting super frustrated because at this point I'm like, I could breastfeed her because this is mainly what she gets from me <laughs> if I breastfeed her, but they are still not letting me. She's still hungry, like this 28 meal is just nothing for her at this point. Um, and so she's still doing her crying and and she still starving like she's starving uh, so we are in september now her due date would have been september 11th so we are getting close to her due date as well and um yeah, she's still she's still too hungry even though she's getting pretty good food um and so far she had no issues whatsoever with the food uh, thank god and uh, <laughs> September 2nd was an amazing day for us because I get a phone call from the nurse that the doctor has decided that because she's doing so well and because she obviously wants more and more and more milk, what they're gonna do is that the next day they're going to um, give her as much milk as much she wants and when she wants it. Um, and I said uh, after the the empty breastfeeding attempt and because they still not letting me <laughs> breastfeed I just completely gave up breastfeeding her in the hospital I was like I'm gonna breastfeed her as soon as I get home but just get her on the bottle because that seemed to be the fast track to tell you the truth like get her on the bottle if she can get everything in the bottle we go home and then then we go back to breastfeeding her and that's what was happening and so this one day um September 2nd is uh, that they changed the situation a little bit by the evening uh, because they already let her drink as much as she wanted in the evening which was 55 meals she drank 55 meal, uh, meals and after that she was finally um, calm and quiet and not crying. So the, it went amazing that uh, they when they 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 finally let her get as much as she wanted whenever she wanted. She was getting in some crazy amounts of milk, a lot more than her feed would have been, a lot more than I can give her through breastfeeding. Um, 
so uh, it was all obvious that she's gonna come home the only one issue left was that they, she was supposed to get her first uh, vaccination at two months old but because she was on the IV sick they didn't give it to her so they said uh, that they're gonna give it to her on the, um, the this whole thing is Sunday so Sunday was the day when they decided that she can finally come home she done amazing on this trial day everything is fine she can come home just monday she, they're gonna give her the vaccine and then they want her to stay there for another 24 hours uh for just so they can keep an eye on her how she reacts after her first vaccine and then tuesday was an actual uh, test her hearing test so wednesday she can come home by the the by september 3rd uh, she was like seriously drinking between 40 to 65 mils at a time. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> as I was saying, she was uh, getting like 40, 60 mils, uh, 65 in the evening. She was cluster feeding, which finally they let her to do. Um, um, she's 2,133 grams, so we definitely went out and bought a car seat that's good for uh, below 5 pounds and uh, she got her um she got her vaccination on the 4th of uh, september that was a monday and uh, she was completely fine for the 24 hours that they had to had to keep her in and then on the 5th uh, they got her um dietitian is the decided that she can come home they did the hearing test everything was fine and september 6 finally it's a, uh, it's um wednesday and that is uh five days before her actual due date uh, she can finally come home finally we got her into the car seat um and out of the hospital and that's where I'm gonna end our story because this is the end of the Nikki story and uh, we're gonna continue our stories uh, with home. I'm gonna talk, uh, have a video uploading just about the breastfeeding experiences um, and then the story itself will continue when we come home and that's gonna be a lot less stressful for everyone. So say bye bye. This is where we end today's video. Say bye bye. And then we're gonna continue. Uh, <laughs> Our stories uh, with her being actually home. Car seat stories. I'm probably gonna talk about car seats and breastfeeding before that though. But thank you. See you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>